Back at the Colosseum! Why? Is there more to do here? Yes, that's right. We need to do the Platinum Match. Time to defeat the hidden boss, don't enter. <laughs> what is awesome going weird on? Weird abstract symbols. It's a Final Fantasy thing. Yeah, a Sephiroth. Oh, okay. It's Joey Sephiroth. Uh, That's cool. Yeah, just John Sephiroth, but you can call him Joey. <laughs> oh boy. I remember him. Oh, and he has a, he has a song. Is this an original character? Yeah, the old one-legged birdman. Yeah, he has a song. It's called "Hey, It's Me, Joey." <laughs> oh boy. Oh, he's reusing bits. It's some of the other textures. The entire, all of Sephiroth is in fact just other textures pasted together. He wasn't playing for the game at all. There's like, oh, we have all these assets. Um, Sephiroth is yet another boss with an invisible health bar. Oh, that sucks. Also, he does a shitload of damage. Yeah, sure uh, does. He can just fucking teleport in and fucking raise pillars of hell. Now, while Fight Weatherman had a comically thick sword, he instead has a comically thin and long sword. Right. <laughs> it just goes on for days. He doesn't understand that it's more about girth. Mm -hmm. I mean, have you ever seen Advent Children? At one point, like, Sephiroth comes back and, like, a normal sword just turns into this huge fucking sword. It appears to have width to the human eye, but that is an illusion. If you actually measure the blade, it is one-dimensional. Oh, well, that explains a lot. It is just a texture. So Sephiroth has a couple of faces. Like, he just get like, the longer you- the farther you get in the fight, the more he just loves to teleport around and fucking kick you in the ass that way. Right. One of my favorite things is when he teleports uh, into you and then does the Pillars of Hell. Sephiroth's a real bastard. Yeah. That, that is a really obnoxious attack. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. I like how his reach is like four times yours. Yeah. Uh, Sephiroth also doesn't have a lot of staggering going on if you hit him, so uh, you're basically gonna get hit a lot in this fight unless you're really good at the game. There's just no tell for it, he just doesn't. Then <laughs> he dies. I think there's tells for it, it's just they are very fast. Like, maybe if you're, like, a pro fighting game player, you can do that <laughs> shit well, but just, my hand-eye coordination is not good enough. No, look at him. He just raises his hand and it happens. It's, that's not a tell. It's just he's animating <laughs> as it happens. So what Sephiroth did there is, like, Harfacin or some shit. Uh, it's probably the most annoying attack in this game, because if he finishes it, you lose all your MP, and you lose all your HP, except if you have the second chance ability, in which you gain one. And that's pretty much just dead. And it is over very quick. The, like, ability just fucking is done in two seconds. And it's really bad. Yeah. You've spent like half the fight just healing. Yeah, that's kind of what happens with Sephiroth. You've described most fights. It's even worse because Sephiroth doesn't drop magic or stuff, so you have to have items ready or something. Uh, no. Uh, like, I grunted at this point enough that if I ever get hit, I at least gain one MP bar back. Oh, yeah, wow. That's a lot. Again, good thing, Jesus. You've achieved sustainability, well done. <laughs> Victory is inevitable. Your delicately balanced ecosystem of health. <laughs> So around this point, Sephiroth just gets faster, and like, there's way less of a tell for when he attacks. He can just pull out a sword instantly and just fucking hit you. Well, the tell for his attacks is that they were foretold in the pages of the Kabbalah thousands of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> he has such a goofy run. Yeah. I'm much happier when he's teleporting. What if Sephiroth just had a Naruto run? Doesn't he kinda? He's just he's holding the sword. <laughs> 
And you can't have that sword behind you, like it's gonna drag on the ground, it's gonna get caught on something. Again, one dimensional blade it doesn't occupy space. Sephiroth. Not even a good character, but they spent so much time hyping up this asshole. The time he shows up. I like the concept of a lot of these attacks, but I kind of feel like he just does too much of them. They're too fast and too unpredictable. Yeah. Especially that one. I think if he didn't have the one-hit KO and like the Pillars of Hell, this would actually be a really fun fight. Yeah, it looks like it could be fun. Just more sword fighting kind of stuff. Yeah. So they're just is too obsessed with Sephiroth being so powerful, godlike. Wow, Sephiroth, you're so cool. And also beautiful, and also he would kiss Cloud, and it's real, I've seen it. Yeah, they each have one wing, so I mean it's perfect. Wingmar Birdman is handsome and majestic <laughs> like a true hero. Can't even say one of his character traits. He's just a powerful dude. That's awesome. He loves his mom. Evil. Loves his mom. There's that. But he hates his dad. Well, I mean, that's true of basically everyone in a JRPG, I think. <laughs> He's like supremely into his mom. And meteors. <laughs> Who doesn't love meteors, though? Yeah, I guess you're right. What is that? Can you just... Oh, what is happening? Uh, I never made it He this entered far. the super modes, oh. and now every attack he does... Oh. That isn't this desperation move where he just summons meteors. Like, summons orbs around you? <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> he's, he's just a guy who loves meteors. Yeah, we talked about this. He loves meteors. Uh, he just wants to show you his meteor collection. He's... He's just a nerdy geologist kid in high school and everyone made fun of him, that's why he's an evil god creature now. Right. And now he became buff and hot, and that's why you don't make fun of the nerds in high school, kids. Right, because they're all gonna become buff and hot. Also a sword longer than their body. I just wanna make a hole in the earth so I can examine the rocks and stuff. This, this rock is as beautiful as my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. But yes. Why does this rock have weird tentacles, huh? What? Like his mom. Oh, right, Genova. Spoilers for Final Fantasy VII, by the way. Yeah. Don't, don't watch this video before you play the remake. Thanks, guys. I was gonna play the remake, but now I'm like, oh, forget about it. Look, if we don't get this out of our system now, we'll never get through the next secret boss fight of Eris's corpse. <laughs> <laughs> but Sephiroth has it on, like, puppet strings and is, like, to touting it around town. It's like a weekend at Burns thing. Yeah, it's really messed up. Oh, would you like to buy a flower from me, Cloud? Um, okay, you sound a bit weird, Eris. Oh, the real now. twist is she was dead the whole time, and that attack was to <laughs> cut the strings on the puppet. Oh <laughs> my god. Nerd step on the flowers, Cloud. God, this just looks like such a mess. I never even tried to fight Sephiroth, because it just looks like it sucks. I don't think it's that bad. Like, it's just... He does a lot, but honestly, like, his desperation moves are, like, his worst attacks, <laughs> because they're way easier to dodge. I think mostly it's just, like, it looks unfun. <laughs> but, like, the other ones looked a lot more interesting, there was more going on besides the, like, clock one. I feel, just in general, this is very, um... Bear, unless you're the fucking best of the game. Right, unless you're Tetsuya Nomura, who, like, future for it. Tested the entire game. Yeah. <laughs> I am the best of the game. I'm number one. Nomura himself called me that and gave me a hug and was like, I love your LP. No <laughs> other living human has ever defeated this implementation except for. Yeah, this one's a new, uh, this one's on a new build. <laughs> He's almost done. Just kill him.
Wait, that was it? They're still fighting to this day. The end. Good night, everyone. Next right. up, we'll show off all of the... Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to show off all of the uh, gummy ship sequences. Oh, yeah, no, that's going to be a bonus video of its own. <laughs> all right, time to fight the seven princesses. Right. <laughs> the, the final secret boss. But yeah, we're back in Hollow Bastion now for the final secret boss. Nice. God, she's so tiny compared to everyone. <laughs> I get that she's a kid, but I feel like that's still, like, wrong. So tiny. Are you a dwarf? Sam? What's that supposed to mean? Anyway, so welcome to Unknown! He's got a lightsaber? Oh, th see, this predicted the Star Wars buyout. Unknown <laughs> is fucking crazy, he just pulls Shh. out a bunch of attacks all the time. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, like he it. just goes nuts! Like that quick little springy handstand. Yeah, he just pulls out a fucking lightsaber every two seconds and just hits you in the face with it. Man, thank goodness for your allies, because I think they're the only people who've gotten a chance to hit him. <laughs> So yeah, Donald and Goofy are actually really good for this fight, wow. if only to... If only to keep them... this guy off you, in case you need to heal. Plus, they haven't died yet. This is one of the few enemies, I feel, that I've seen deliberately target your allies instead of just fixating on you. And accidentally hitting the allies. <laughs> so, a thing about Unknown is he is weak to Grafica. If you hit him with Grafica, sometimes he will just flip the fuck out in place. Huh. Uh, okay, he has one really shitty attack, though. This, um, this thing which <laughs> fucks with your commands, and oh, I see. it turns oh, okay. one command into release, and the other hurts you. Um, I'm cheating here, and I apologize, but my hand-eye coordination is really bad. Like, I don't have the reflexes to do that legit. I thought you were pausing because you just forgot which one was the triangle. <laughs> Uh, I was waiting for you to explain some sort of cool task maneuver you were executing. Like, yeah, I thought that Trying to isolate specific just... frame offsets. <laughs> doing... No. Doing a speedrun trick. It just makes it easier for me to react to that. Right Fair here, enough. I do the pause glitch here, and I do ten times as much damage with this sword. This will reset our <laughs> momentum. <laughs> This will get the boss to call me very cool. This is what I call the infinite Sora glitch. I keep pausing the game as I'm attacking and I duplicate my Sora model every time. 
if I bust this game for 14 years on this on this fucking boss battle, it crashes. Oh, okay. <laughs> you see, if you pause while your Keyblade is making damage against him, it will actually just constantly do damage throughout the pause screen. What other, like, glitch exploits can we think of? I think we're running out. <laughs> I see that information is stored in what we refer to as the held object last position. <laughs> you see, if you pause while in the middle of a swing and you hold it, you build up speed with which to travel through multiple dimensions. If you just kind of hump this boss for like three minutes without taking damage, Donald will transform into Demon Donald where he will throw spells every second. <laughs> If you hold triangle and down while hitting him, you, it's easier to capture them into a Pokeball. You can do the specific sequence of inputs at these exact frames, and you can code the game into the NES Classic Adventures in Magic Kingdom. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so he also has a desperation attack, which is this thing where he gets into an orb and fires lasers at you, and it's really hard to dodge. Be <laughs> more... Pretty good tech. These bosses seem very orb-centric. Oh, orbs are pretty good. They're in so. pretty good shape. These bosses have coherent art direction to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit too busy with the effects and stuff. But... I don't know. I actually really like this boss fight as opposed to Sephiroth's. Like, even if it's just kind of the same thing, but I t think it's just a lot more active and a lot more focused on, like, Dodging attacks. I feel like anything at all is happening in this boss fight. The rest just sort of occur. A lot is happening. <laughs> yeah, I can see why this is troublesome in general. But it wears off just after a while, doesn't it? Yeah, but you also can't cast any magic, so... And it damages you over time. Right, so it's not optimal. Yeah. The optimal strategy is to hit the X button every uh, seven frames because that's the fastest you can get new attacks out. Aw oh, yeah, you know that church, you know the real cool tabs. <laughs> Look, I may be no good at this video game, but I know all the secret strategies. This exploit is actually easier to execute on the PAL version of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I really hate that attack. He does every time. Yeah, kind of sucks. What happened to Donald and Goofy though? They're just shouting in their brain. Okay, they lose. They lose power too. Yeah. And their brain cries out. Besides that attack, this boss is just fun. Like a lot of stuff happens all the time. And yeah, he goes crazy if you hit him with graphic and It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Gravity. This is it. Yeah, that was the final secret boss in Kingdom Hearts. I see. And with that, that was DLP. I'd like to uh, thank my buddies, Trips Away, Killer MC, and the Raving Loon for being here uh, with me on this hot ass journey. Uh, I'd like to thank the uh, people who did art for me, like my buddy Ari Squared here. Uh, 
They're a pretty good artist. Check them out if you wanna. I'd also like to thank everybody who posted in chat, cause, uh, I am fain and that kind of shit keeps me going. And, you know, last of all, I'd just like to thank everybody who was watching, uh, I really wouldn't do this without people as watching it. Anyway, thanks for watching again, and um, I hope you're all there next LP. Hope you enjoyed this mad fucking trip.